Good afternoon everybody, what's going on? Today's review has now brought us here for a much more up close and personal encounter with the all new 2012 Scion IQ. Our review today has brought us here to Texas Toyota and Scion here in Grapevine, Texas. And with all that being said, this is going to be a complete and in-depth review of the IQ, and this does entail a complete startup and overview of the engine, as well as a good look at many of the notable and unique styling cues and fuel-efficient features that make up this vehicle's exterior, as well as its interior. And so, bearing all that new information in mind, let's go ahead and climb aboard, and we'll check it out. This particular IQ wears the black sand pearl exterior. Combined with the dark charcoal cloth interior with ash colored dashboard and door panels. Beautiful sounding motor. It comes with Scion's uniquely contoured three-spoke leather wrapped steering wheel. Quite a bit of resistance in the wheel being that this is a front wheel drive vehicle, but it feels very nice and fluid overall. Nice and thickly padded all the way around the exterior portion of the steering wheel. Moderately sized grip extensions, very comfortable to grip onto, as well as red color contrast stitching, which although thick, does add a very nice accent to the steering wheel itself. <laughs> The new IQ puts its power through an ECVTI, or Electronic Continuously Variable Automatic Transmission with Intelligence, which also comes with two stages of engine braking, being that it is a CVT transmission. If you were to put it in the S mode, like it is right now, just to the left of the drive portion of the gear selection, it is more of a lighter style of engine braking, and not so much heavy duty when you're going in the worst of conditions and more shall we say steeper grades. That mode is actually the B mode, which is if you pull it all the way back, and that is the very heavy engine braking itself. It's very much like a hill descent control for gas powered engines in a CVT transmission that you might find on things like a four wheel drive SUV. Beautiful. Both the windows are automatic in both directions. The business end of the IQ houses an all new 1.3 liter dual overhead cam 16 valve inline four cylinder engine combined with Toyota's signature dual variable valve timing with intelligence system and this particular unit cranks out only 94 horsepower and 89 pound feet of torque. Now while that may not seem like much as far as power goes, it still equates to rather impressive fuel economy estimates on regular unleaded gasoline of 36 miles per gallon city and 37 miles per gallon highway. Now let's see about a couple of revs of that little inline four cylinder engine, see what kind of soundtrack she produces. She sounds a bit racy actually. Very 
race sounding engine, very quick to respond too. And with that in mind, let's go ahead and turn on the headlights, as well as the fog lights, and the hazard lights as usual. And now let's take this opportunity to explore the exterior of the all new IQ. The new IQ sports these highly chrome bezeled halogen projector headlights. This one has also been upgraded with the optional fog lights as you saw just a moment ago. This review unit has been outfitted with the upgraded 16 inch dark graphite finished aluminum alloy wheels with front disc brakes and drums in the rear on nitrogen filled tires. Although the Scion IQ is all new for 2012 this year in North America, it's actually been out for almost three years overseas, being sold over there as the Toyota IQ. And also, although our unit here in North America has the 1.3 liter engine, the Toyota IQ over in Europe and overseas has a 1 liter 3 cylinder engine. The IQ is also now a record breaker, being that this is now the world's smallest four seater vehicle, measuring just short of 120 inches long and 79 inches wide. Very edgy styled rear tail lights. Rear heated defrosting glass with rear windshield wiper. With such a short wheelbase, this vehicle, as I said, is now the world's smallest car, beating be, or world's smallest four-seater vehicle to be specific. It now beats out its competition such as the Fiat 500 and more importantly the Smart 4.2 that everybody's become so accustomed to here in the U.S. and overseas. You can pop that from the inside but sorry about that. Very small bubble-like rear quarter glass. Metallic silver turn signal equipped mirrors. Despite being such a small vehicle, it actually is quite roomy. Certainly bringing yet another youthful shape to Scion's already great department. And now that we've had a good look at the exterior of the IQ, let's take a better look at the new interior. As I said, this one has the dark charcoal cloth interior with ash colored door panels and dashboard. This particular model has also been outfitted with these paint matched interior trim pieces, finished in a black pearl as well. And here on the driver's side you get the normal layout of power assisted amenities including power door locks and window locks, automatic one touch driver and passenger window, along with your powered mirror controls located just here in the center. But, this, but it's actually not the same on the passenger side as you'll see a little later on.
Now, as you would expect with a car of this caliber, as you might not expect actually, is that this vehicle is actually quite roomy for its size. As I said, it's only 120 inches long, but as you can see, I'm six foot one inches tall, and I have absolutely no problem reaching the pedals or anything like that. And with the steering wheel being power tilting, or manually tilting, excuse me, you can also allow for a little bit extra space. As a matter of fact, just as a little bit of a joke, when this vehicle was delivered here to Texas Toyota and Scion, all four of the head managers tried to climb into this vehicle, and surprisingly, they all fit. As far as the seat comfort goes, being that they are cloth seats and do not have the optional upgrade of leather, they do have quite a nice plush feel to them, and also the back might feel a little bit firm, and that's only because of this car's 11 airbags, and there's actually one unique one that many people would actually not even consider in a vehicle, and that is a rear seat cushion airbag to prevent your back from having multiple injuries in such things as a rear end collision or even in a front end collision. Speaking of safety features, the all-new IQ is outfitted with 11 airbags. You have two knee airbags, one on each side of the vehicle, two front impact airbags, again driver and passenger side, two side curtain airbags, a rear curtain airbag for the rear windshield, as well as two seat mounted airbags for a total of 11 airbags. Probably one of the safest, if not the safest, micro compact vehicle on the market. This vehicle has also been outfitted with the upgraded Pioneer Stereo. Believe it or not, this Pioneer stereo system has also got um, hands-free Bluetooth assist with these two orange buttons located up here. You also have iPod USB integration as well as a factory CD player. You've also got this rather large metallic silver portion that goes down the center console here. It does provide a bit more of a sporty touch and does actually seem a little bit necessary in a vehicle like this with all of its unique styling cues that we've seen so far. It's got a single zone climate control system with the knobs sequentially laid out here in the center stack. Got your fan controls up top with rear defroster in the center. You've also got your different climate zones here in the middle knob with air conditioning recycling right in the center. And you've also got your temperature control just down below. Turn it all the way to the left to introduce maximum air conditioning. Press the AC button. Very simple to use and very nicely laid out. Now over here you may have noticed this small range of buttons and stuff like that and you also notice a lock and unlock but at the same time you just saw the fact that this vehicle has the lock and unlock switch here on the driver's side. This is actually for the passenger side of the vehicle. Thus the passenger door is actually thinner than the driver's door and that's because this vehicle is actually known as a 3 plus 1. The plus one is of course the driver because the seat can't move very far back and forth. Even though the seat adjustments are down here, you pull up and you can slide back and forth. But at the same time, this seat can move a lot further forward to accommodate for three full-sized adults. You've got one adult here, here, and in this right rear seat. And with the driver's seat not being able to be moved very much, you've also got uh, one seat for a child in this rear left-hand seat here. You can actually tell that the Scion IQ was very well thought out. Despite being such a small vehicle, Scion really has crammed a ton of features into this vehicle. Small vanity mirror. Absolutely incredible for such a small car. It really is quite surprising how far the vehicle market has come with these small cars nowadays. And even so, with all of that in mind, let's go ahead and turn off the engine. And like all Toyotas, you can't just simply turn the key. You have to push in and pull out to release. And with all that in mind, let's go ahead and check out the rest of the features of the IQ. Now the trunk is not releasable by the key as you see here. Instead, there's a small push button located just here on the small round handle. Just simply press it and that opens the trunk. 
Now with the rear seats folded down, you are allotted 3.5 cubic feet of cargo space. However, you can just simply fold the seats back up. But before we do that, I'd actually like to show you something a little bit different. If you lift up this small pad here and lift up this area, there's actually two clips just at the bottom of this storage tray. They just simply twist out, just like that. Simply, a little hard to get used to at first, but just underneath of this thing, there you go, is actually a tire repair kit, as you can see. It fills up your tires with a very special liquid and prevents them from draining all the way, but that's only enough to get you to the nearest tire re the nearest tire station to get a new tire put on your vehicle. Thus, this vehicle has saved a little bit of weight by not introducing a, a spare tire at all. And you can just simply fit the clips back into place and turn them to lock. And there you go. And then you can simply fold up the seats as normal, although that does dramatically reduce your cargo space. And there you go. Very large, wide swinging doors, being that this is a two-door vehicle. As you saw just a moment ago, both the driver and passenger seats are manually adjustable. There is not the option of any kind of height adjustment as far as this set of eyes is seen, but you simply pull up on this lever here to move the seat back and forth, and also you pull up on this lever here to adjust the back of the seat. You can slide the seat all the way forward, allowing access to the rear of the vehicle. And you climb inside, and somehow you find that the seat isn't exactly perfect, but being the fact that the passenger seat can slide a lot further forward than the driver's seat can, as you can see, I actually do have quite a bit of leg room back here, and it's actually quite nice to sit here. And you've also got your rear seat belts easily accessible. And also, headroom, although a little cramped for someone of my stature, is not a problem. You just pull the seat lever forward, or backward, slide the seat forward, and out we go. Pretty ingenious little piece of um, engineering here. And we'll just leave that for a second. What a wonderful little car. It's actually quite amazing to see such a small vehicle. But viewers, I hope you've enjoyed this look at the all new 2012 Scion IQ Micro Compact Vehicle. If you wish to contact Texas Toyota and Scion about this particular vehicle, or any of the others that you may have seen in the background of this video, please feel free to do so at either Toyota or Scionofgrapevine.com. Until then, viewers, have a great day, and I will see you guys later.